Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. It's a nice and quick one today again. We'll see how to create and print a Revit sheet of a custom paper size. For example, on my screen now is a custom A1 paper size. It has the same height as the regular A1, but the length is twice as long. We'll set this up so when you print this sheet to PDF, it will look correct as well, as we can see. By the way, if you are new to this channel and want to master Revit, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to get lessons like this every single day. Okay, let's get creating. If I now switch to another version of this file, this is a typical A1 sheet size we usually have. To make it twice as long, we need to edit the title block family first. Let's go to edit family now. And let's see how much the length is at the moment. It's 840. Let's now click on this line there and make this dimension twice as big. I will just use a quick formula here. So equal two times whatever that is at the moment. Press enter now. And you see now that the length has got twice as long. I can now move this other line to follow the other one. Keep the same distance from before. I knew it was 21. And now we can save this title block under a new name. I will use the same one I did before, A1 doubled. All right, it's time now to load this back into our project. This one over here. And it will prompt you to place a new title block, but we already have one here. So let's just escape now, select the existing one and change the type to be A1 doubled. Now you are free to place in here additional views. I'll do it quickly. Okay, just something to fill up that space on the left. Now we can try to print this sheet. Let's do Control P now. And the first thing to notice is you will need to use another printer apart from the Microsoft Print to PDF because this one, if you go to Properties, Advanced, it can only do some certain paper sizes and the biggest it can go is A3. That's quite limited. If you want to get a good free PDF printer, you can start with Qt PDF. Just go to your web browser and search for Qt PDF download. Go to here, use a writer because that's a free one and you can download it and install it. After that's done, when you go to here, on this list, you will get Qt PDF as a custom printer. Anyway, only do that if you haven't got another printer apart from Microsoft Print to PDF. I have a few here already, like Adobe, Bluebeam, Newforma, and so on. Any of the custom ones will do. For now, let's go to Adobe. Choose Properties. And you have here a drop down to select your paper size. We can now go to there. And see if we have one ready. There's no A1 double at the moment, so it's time now to do add. I'll call this one A1. It's best, however, to start from an existing paper size. So I can choose A1 to begin with, and then rename it to A1 doubled. We need to now double the length, or in other words, width of this paper size. In here, however, you can see the title is a bit wrong there. It's calling the height width and the width height. Nevertheless, we can know for sure this is the figure we need to change because it's a bigger one. Let's see what that value should be. So 841 times 2, 1632. Here we go. We can now do apply or add. And now that paper size should be on your list. A1 doubled. Here we go. Click OK now. And let's review our print. Something's quite wrong. You say it's not really scaling the size of my printer boundary. Let's go back to the print window and go to setup. The next step is to choose from here under the size menu, the same paper size we created before. So it will be A1 doubled. Somehow it's here at the end of the list. Does it matter? That's the same one. And make sure you choose to zoom the print to 100% so we don't have any scaling going on. Make sure you center the print as well. Okay now. 
and we can preview the sprint one more time. Much better already. We can now go ahead and print this. Click OK and I'll just save it here under House 2. Perfect, it has created the sheet and opened it for us as well. You can see now that's the right paper size and everything fits nicely on it. If I now go back to Revit and try to print this with a different printer like Bluebeam. Go to Properties, Advanced. You can see it's seeing and using the same custom paper size we created before. This is because paper sizes are centrally stored on your machine at a dedicated location. And that is also a bit of a warning to some of you working in a big office. Your office may restrict write access to that location, and that means you may not be able to create custom paper sizes like this yourself. If that's the case, you need to ask your office IT admin to create this for you. And then you can go back here and use the right paper size from this menu. Alright, I hope that was useful. If you like tutorials like this every single day, subscribe to this channel today and I'll see you in the next lesson.